For the second time in less than a week, we have thousands of dead fish washing ashore in Brevard County. Brevard County Beach, Melbourne Beach, all these regions around it are seeing an increase in the animal die-off. Now, some of this is directly connected to the red tide. Now, the red tide and why it's springing up in different areas, we can go down different paths and we can debate different things and we can look at causes to this. Now, one of the main things that threw everything out of whack was the hurricane that came through here recently. Another major issue is Lake Okeechobee. I've talked about this in separate videos, and most people do not realize this until they dig deep into it and they see exactly what has happened with Lake o Okeechobee. It used to roll south, so to speak, and create massive wetlands. Well, when they ended up trying to stop all that and then running two reservoirs, one to the east and one to the west, this was causing a big difference in the environment because a lot of the fertilizers and a lot of the stuff the farmers were using were now moving into a concentrated area and being funneled out east or west. And this was tied in to an upswing in the red tide. So it wasn't, hmm, it just popped up out of nowhere for no reason. There were reasons to it that most people are not seeing. But yet again, another massive fish kill down here in this region they're saying that these beaches are just littered with fish, dead fish, and it's sad. So, if you guys are seeing anything like this, let me know. Hit me up, dabu7yahoo.com. I'm going to leave a link, and I'll continue to update as I come across more, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter for the latest updates. Peace.